you know? <laughs> it's quite a good job. Near Stoke on Trent, we drove this far in this little car park I found on Park for Night. Oh. And we're trying to watch TV because we want to get up early and have an early night. Although it is actually. Why is it not focusing? And now we're deciding what to watch. We haven't put the duvet out because it's absolutely flipping boiling. But yeah, this is the first stop on our trip. Stafford. We have now gone past Manchester and we haven't reached the United Kingdom part as of yet. So it just still looks like we're halfway on the map, but we're not. We've got three hours, 18 left. And we still haven't had food. So we're gonna have a break soon, I think. But we haven't got more of the games yet. We've only played I Spy and rhyming I Spy. What else? And impressions. We want to get better at accents, what I do. And then we've just been dancing to MJ and a bit of Rihanna, a bit of Stevie Wonder. And now we carry on. This keeps getting better and better. Look at it! Better and better and bigger. Better and bigger. And bigger and better. On this trip, I've decided that Sam's colorblind. Shut up. And the rest of the journey. And these 10 days, it's going to be working out what the colours are. Like this. This Big is shorts. this is purple. 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 Like, like purple. lilac. Lilac. Lightning. And these are like pink, pinky champagne colour. Sam says that's not even a colour, so. Oh, look, like the street. We're in Edinburgh. We parked up. We're staying in like a residential yeah. street. Look how cute this is. Uh oh, it looks rubbish outside. But no, and it's boiling. It's like 25 degrees. And it's like a half an hour walk from where we're staying in the van to like the Royal Mile and the cars and everything. But it's nice. And I'm thriving even though we've just driven like eight hours in total. This is the Palace of Holyrood? Hollywood? I don't know. Hollywood House. Hollywood. <laughs> and that's Arthur's seat, which actually we're camping near. And apparently you can see Northern Lights near there. So catch us at 4 a.m. set up there. It's such nice weather. We've lucked out big time. We're walking down the road. <laughs> So I've not seen anything more Harry Potter as of yet. Look at that. That's proper Harry Potter vibes. In the pub. Just take a journey around Scotland and discover your new favourite whiskey. Oh, this might be my new face. This is really cute Scottish pub. Well, pub. <laughs> In another Scottish pub. I think me and Sam decided because it's nearly dinner. We're gonna go to a few Scottish pubs we see on the Royal Mile and we're gonna have some whiskey and then have some dinner and just work out what we want to pay for tomorrow because we're trying to be cheap. Got another one? What's this one called? Share me the bottle, I can't remember. We'd have to ask for it, but I've asked for another sweet one and I like these. Now we're off. Off again. Here we go, here we go. I can't get over how cute it is. I think the whiskey's already gone to my head, but this is the number three, the whiskey tour that we're doing ourselves. I wish Sam remembered the last one so that we know what whiskeys we've actually well, consumed. No, but the whiskey itself. This YouTube's now turning into a um, sightseeing tourist vlog. This is St. Giles Cathedral. Can you hear the bagpipes? Um, 
and that's the city chambers. I'm just showing you what I can read on a sign. But I've realized that Edinburgh is one of my new favorite places. Also, if you didn't know, like I didn't know, you can see the sea when you're in Edinburgh. <laughs> and there it is there. Taking a photo, <laughs> Found our Scottish pub to eat, finally. Castle Arms, and guess what we're getting? We're gonna get, where is it? Haggis, neeps and tatties. No. Come <laughs> <laughs> on, say it. Haggis, neeps and tatties. T no! Haggis, neeps and tatties. Tatties. Haggis. Tatties. I can't do it. You sounded a bit American. <laughs> we got this haggis. I'm a little bit scared. There's a haggis. There's a mash. And Victoria Street is actually here. Down there later. There's Swede in the middle, my favourite, and then Mash and Haggis. Oh, it's, that's a castle, I think. We're gonna walk to Comedy Club because Sam's cousin told us to go there. Our cousin? Pardon? Uncle. The Comedy Club. We're going to go to the stand and then it's five pounds on the door, we think, to go watch comedy for like two hours. And we're in Newtown now, and I was worried it's gonna start looking like not nice and Edinburgh and pretty, but it is. If you look, you ready? Are. Tell me that's not old and pretty. I can't really see because the sun. We have been put this close to the microphone, so we're definitely gonna get picked on. But we're in the stand now on a Monday. We're back in the van. And it looks different because we're sleeping this side because the van's on a tilt and we don't, we can't be bothered to like reverse it the other way. So we're sleeping this way and it seems so much bigger this side. Watching, um, I think our planet number two. We're now in park can't remember which one but there's our this seat there and we had a shower in these like this like leisure center on the front by the seafront which is really nuts in edinburgh um and now we're ready for the day i'm gonna get breakfast and then we might go to the castle or the dungeons or both depends how bougie you're feeling but yeah this is such a nice park demolished it already Just had breakfast. It was honestly so good. It was only like five pounds as well. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm going to the Museum of Edinburgh. My new coat, 12 pounds, comes with a fleece, and it's raining. And now we don't know what to do, but this is obviously the reality of Edinburgh, as we got told in the comedy yeah. club last night. I found this book, and I might actually get it. <clears throat> Look at this book in my car. It's a book of spells for abundance, success. I'm thriving in the shop a bit too much because we've watched all of Harry Potter.
drive through that and then go to Inverness tomorrow. We went to the shop and we bought loads of nice scram for dinner, bolognese. There's also the chance to, oh, we're here. Yeah. Um, see the Northern Lights, obviously in Scotland, but in this park, because it's so dark, because there's no like, lights. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully. This is the Cathedral of Dunkeld. And believe it or not, the Battle of Dunkeld was literally, so that's turning into a history um, YouTube, was there. So loads of people were slaughtered right there. It's a new day. It's a new life. Now left Dunkeld. It was actually really, really nice. And now we're going to Cairngorms National Park to find somewhere to stay for the night. We're getting fuel because we might have been stranded in Cairngorms with no fuel. And it's proper windy roads, it's really nice. No, it looks as good, come on. Does it? because you can I've saw three deer just drinking from a little hole not a hole but just a water hole and we were driving past I was like oh deer but I said it really faintly because oh, no, I didn't realize it was deer but it was three three stopped off in a bit near we're staying tonight called Bracings I think So we're in the campsite, I'll link it on um, the description. It's got toilets though, and I think you have to pay maybe three pounds. Um, the machine's broken though, but there is a machine over there, so I'm gonna try and pay for it. But you're literally in the woodlands in the middle of the forest. And it's really peaceful and beautiful and we've parked there. So the back doors will open up in the back there. And then we have like a seating area here. And it's just really nice. And it's colder up here though, oh my god. Mm. Cooking up Is that a on? yeah, massive spag bowl with pepper in. I know, rogue. And then uh, a linguine. This cooker's so much better than this cooker. We have to put a rock in it because it doesn't hold the, like, the gas in properly, which is really annoying. And then this is our setup. It looks lovely. But little do you know, there's so many flies. I wonder if you can see them all that just keep smacking you. And I saw this TikTok and it was like the reality of camping in Scotland and it was loads of flies. And I think that's kind of finally coming into reality. Van done. Starting to put the food away into little bits. All into here, it's shoved in. Let's hope it doesn't like all fall out when we're driving because that squash bottle was actually holding it all in that's going in there this is here this is still like this because i still haven't trialed my magnets not gonna lie this is just so easy and useful one day i might buy a bougie fan curtain but not yet <laughs> fly proof outfit right top tip if you're coming to scotland get citronella candles or bite stuff or anything i should have done it and listened to the tiktoks oh my gosh get it by hand it is because it's fly central we've had to put the bolognese in the van so flies don't land on it it's really annoying <laughs> so itchy we've had to resort to coming into the van as soon as it was done but it's cozy 
It's still light. Oh my gosh, there's a fly there. Oh my gosh, there's loads in the front. Is there? Yeah, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, <gasps> ten. Yeah. But I'm loving this light and the organization. New black mirrors in the van. Could be risky business, but we're going with it. It's morning in the Josie household and it's bloody boiling. It's so nice. We've got coffees. We wanted to see if those are showers, but I don't think they are. The problem is we bought these like solar showers, but you need to fill up with water. Obviously it holds like 20 litres and there's no water, which is a bit annoying, but we're going to have to find a way. And we're going to have fruit and fibre for brekkie. But yeah, I slept pretty good, you know, paid for our tickets. When you come here, you have to pay for two tickets. It's like six pounds for the night. There, and then that means you can stay. And then Sam's making a hammock. Catch some rays before we go on a walk around the National Park. I want to find some sheep. You've done quite a good job. That's actually the perfect length tree. You are sleeping here tonight. I covered myself up like this. <laughs> so I hide from the flies. My dad got me this for Christmas a really long time ago. And Sam stole it. Oh, scary or two. What, like it's like that? <laughs> there you go. Can you fit? <laughs> we are off on an hour 15. What was the kilometres? 4k, I think. 4.5k walk. A little forest that was beside the van down there. It's really spooky. <laughs> Your first bit of pure Highland Scottish water. I'm jealous. No one can tell me different and then don't want to go into that lovely clear water. Okay. Show crew. We had re reused some tin foil and we had to tape it up. <laughs> no, you can't get into our sandwiches. Oh, it's one piece. <laughs> Innovation that is. Oh gosh, look at my ring line. Ooh. Sandwiches we made. Site in Ken Ken Gorm. So we're still gonna go through the National Park, but we go past Balmoral, so we're gonna hopefully see Queenie's Castle. Um you can kind of see it there through the uh, look at the trees. And we just saw this really weird like castle thing, look like someone's like chateau in France. But yeah, and then we're off on to Inverness. Where is it? Um, oh it's a Scottish flag. Okay, it's just the just got a nice decaf. Oh my god, my hair is literally everywhere. Um, caramel latte. Oh. And you got a latte? Where is it? Ever. A latte. A latte? 
I found out they're cool hash browns tatty scones yeah did you know that when you go to scotland you can have a hash brown with your breakfast or whatever or you can have a tatty scone and do you want to explain what a tatty scone is a tatty scone is apparently mashed potato and a hash brown is grated yeah and the scone is in a circle i think she got it wrong and the hash brown is in a triangle but they're both fried it's a hash brown yeah it is but i want to try one nice. anyway Castle, everyone. There's no windows. 